Hello there, my name is Anthony Barocas with YOLO Live, and today we're going to take a look at YOLO Box Pro 2.0. This video is just going to cover the newest additions to the YOLO Box Pro in the 2.0 update. If you are interested in a complete overview of what the YOLO Box Pro can offer, there's a separate video for that. As always, please like and subscribe to the channel because we've got new videos coming out all the time. So let's get into this. What's in the 2.0 update? The 2.0 update has several major advancements in it, and that's why it's got a 2.0, not a point something update. First of all, right here, you get a video replay, which is fantastic for sports. You're going to be able to like hit that replay button and it's going to jump back so many seconds and start playing that through again. Super easy to do and we'll cover that today. Next up, URL overlays from YOLOcast. If you are a YOLOcast subscriber, this allows you to have a wider selection of titles and graphics that you can pull from the website and also make updates to them from the website. That's a really cool feature. Next. There's some optimized overlays and arrangement capabilities. We're going to get into that. Also, support 108060 to the Live View Solo and audio control is separate from your program out. So, let's get going. So, here we are on my YOLO Box Pro, and right there you see the new replay icon right next to the improved recording indicator. These are welcome adjustments you can see audio meter my my video standard replay and now my recording indicator it's bigger it's blinking as well as the recording counter at the very top of the screen all very welcome we'll get to the replay in a moment but first let's go over here and what i want to show you is the new arrangement bring the front send the back and allowing you to move things around so normally what used to happen is you would press and hold on an icon you would get two icons to delete it or change it. Now there are more icons. You can see there is down here, this icon right here is duplicate, which if you're making titles and you arrange it and put it in a corner and change the colors and do all this stuff to make it just the way you want it to look, now you can just duplicate it and duplicate it and duplicate it and duplicate it. So if you have a long video with 20 different people, now it's so much easier to make sure that every one of your titles, every one of your graphics looks the same because you're just going to duplicate. So I can click on that and say duplicate. Boom, done. So I've got two of them now. That's how easy it is. And that is a fantastic addition. I say done, I don't, I don't need two of them. <laughs> but if I, let's just say I wanted to move this around, like I want to have my title over there, I want to have it on this side. So now I can click and move it. Moving your titles around so that people that are next to each other are grouped properly, that is a fantastic advancement. Or I can move it down. Oop. Say done. I'm going to take this. I can move it down or move it over here. I can move it down there. You can see I can move this thing around and it's very responsive going where I want it to go. And I touch it and it lets go. That is fantastic. It's when you touch and then grab. That's what's going to happen. You can't go back and move it again. That's what was the difference. Now, the next thing is, let's just say I want to put up a title and another title. You can see right now, this white title is over top of the other graphic. These are two graphics I use all the time you can see that the white circular title is over top of. Now, if I go into these and I say, go behind, you can see now the white title is behind. And I can click on that and bring it to the front. Now it's in front. The same with the other one. I can say, come over here and say, you are in front. You see how now we can control the layers of what things are going on on the screen. That is really handy, and it's been a feature that users have been asking for, and YOLO Live has made happen in the YOLO Box Pro. The next feature that people have been asking for is some sort of replay capability, and now it's in the YOLO Box Pro. All right, so you can see this uh, sports events going on, and that happens right there. I hit replay. Now it's going to go back, it's going to play it again. 
you can see this moment happen. It says exit replay. It lets me know that I'm in replay. And then when it's done, boom, it comes back out. Here comes another play. This is looking good. This is looking good. What's going to happen here? I'm just watching the play. Here it comes and he stops it. And then I hit replay. That's how simple it is. You just hit the replay button. It'll automatically replay. Now, there are key settings that you can adjust that will apply to all of your replays. Let's go, let's stop this for a second and let us go into our settings here. Down here, you see where it says replay settings. So we're going to click on that. Now, first thing is, how long do you want the replay to be? That five seconds seemed to be like a good length of time to me, but you could have a longer length of time. Every replay will be using this. This is basically a cache. What it's doing is it's taking the live video and writing it to your memory card. And what it's doing is it's constantly overwriting five seconds of content in, in like a rolling pattern. So after five seconds, it gets thrown away and new stuff gets put on the front. So when you hit replay, it's going to jump and start playing that forward for those five seconds and then jump back to the camera input that you had before you hit the replay button. Right here is your replay speed. I had it slowed down a little bit. I find that really helps the viewer understand that this is a replay and it's not the live action. By slowing it down a little bit, it also lets people see a little bit more of the nuance of what happened, whether it be a goal or some sort of penalty or something like that. That's fairly typical for replay. And then it's whether you want the sound on or off for replay. Typically for sports, you might want to have you might have sportscasters or you might have live audio here the audio for the replay clip itself is being played because i'm slowing it down i didn't want i didn't want that to happen so i turned the audio for my replay off here you can go you can mute other sources during the replay i don't want to do that i want the other source audio to keep playing during the replay and then show replay overlay on the program there's a small little replay word that appears over here, just kind of highlighted very lightly over the video. It's not very visible over this type of background. It may be more visible in other scenarios, whether it be hockey or tennis or something like that. That may be more visible, but with this sports, uh, with this soccer footage, it's not very visible at all. So you could choose to turn that on or turn that off on your own. There are no settings for choosing the color or the placement of that replay uh, icon. So those are the replay settings that control this replay. But let's take a look at that again. So we will start playing this again. And here we go. He's going to throw it in. We're going to see where this goes. He's running. And he kicks it away, kicks it out of bounds. And then we can hit replay. So you can see right here, it's slowed down and he kicks it out. And there we go. So you could actually really do that. While I'm recording the program, I'm actually able to do this replay. And both of these are happening off of the same SD card in the Yolo Box Pro. Next up is the web overlays from YoloCast. A reminder, YoloCast is a separate service, a content delivery service from YOLO Live. I have a video on it. You can go check that out. What YoloCast also offers now is the ability to administer certain graphics from the website and pull them in to your YOLO Box Pro. So first, let's go take a look at YoloCast. Here's the YoloCast interface, and right over here where it says URL overlays, these are all these different overlays that you can put in here. And if I scroll down, you can see all these different types of graphics that you can put over top of your video in your Yolo box. And you do that, let's bring this down, that's the library. And what I've done is I've added, I've added one of these to my own library. So these are my overlays that I've added. So I've added this American soccer with no logos on it. So I've added that. And then on the YOLO box, I'm going to pull this graphic down from the cloud. To do that, I've set up a just a generic graphic background and I'm going to go over there to the plus icon, 
kind of come over here to my web overlays, choose from YOLOcast, as opposed to just pulling in something third party. Now there's a choose from YOLOcast. We're gonna pull that in. That's gonna to go to the cloud. And there's the graphic that I had put into my collection in the cloud. Now I'm able to pull that down. We're gonna select that. We're gonna say done. Here's some settings with height and everything. So let's make this a little bigger. And we're going to put that up top of the screen. And of course, you can turn on auto hide after a certain number of seconds. Say done. And now it's available just like any other of my graphics that are built in, except this one's being pulled from the web. I can turn that on. There it is. And this data that's on here is actually being manipulated from some other computer. Somebody could have an iPad, somebody could have a laptop, somebody could be watching the feed at home and be doing your scoreboard for you. That's the magic of web overlays. You don't have to be jumping around on the YOLO box itself. Somebody could be watching the game and when somebody scores, they, somewhere else, anywhere on the, anywhere on earth, can be sitting there through the web adding scores, deleting scores, changing the clock, and doing all of that. The way they do that is by opening that control panel and then they get access to this. So they're going to go open the American Soccer and then down here in the control panel you see they can change the text Ball on what field, base background, different layers. They have all of these controls available to them remotely. Again, this interface is on the web and anybody anywhere can be helping you run a show with the web access panel to that scoreboard, which is right here. It's on your YOLO box, but it's being controlled remotely from the web. Yes, you can control it from another device as well. You can have an iPad and you could have your YOLO box and have two devices, each of them set up to do a specific task, you know, adjust the score, switch cameras. That's really handy. But if you wanted to also have someone do it remotely, that is now possible on the YOLO box pro. That's a look at the features that have been added to the YOLO box pro with the 2.0 update. Again, if you like these videos, please like and subscribe. Many more on the way, and we're going to keep you updated with all the new software advancements. My name is Anthony Barocas for YOLO Live. Thanks for watching.